El Paso, welcome to another edition of Your City in 5. I'm Martin Padilla. Here at the city, we continue working hard to improve our city of champions. The city of El Paso is a finalist for the 2018 All America City Award, and the team needs your help in taking local champions to Denver for the award ceremony. You can help in two ways. You can purchase your May 17th Chihuahua baseball game tickets online and use the EPB day code and a portion of the proceeds will go toward this effort. You can visit the GoFundMe page and make a donation. All money raised will be used specifically for community members to attend and participate in the All-America City presentation in Denver. As a City of Champions, your City in 5 correspondent, Jonathan Romo caught up with the Henderson Middle School chess team who are state and national champions and boxing world featherweight champion Jennifer Hahn. I am so impressed with the kids, like they are amazing, they're so young, there's so many females and they're national champions, like that's huge. I know that El Paso has a lot of amazing, young, talented, um, special people and for them to be recognized for their achievements, I'm, I'm so impressed. The city of El Paso plans to win All America City. The May 17 Chihuahua game is also a celebration of the city's 145th birthday. There will be fireworks as part of the game festivities and a pregame party at the Convention Center Plaza. Join us for cake, mariachis, and more beginning at 5 p.m. The city has its own champion, Purchasing and Strategic Sourcing Director Bruce Collins. Bruce was selected by the Small Business Association as the 2018 Minority Small Business Co-Champion of the Year for the El Paso region. Congratulations, Bruce! The City of El Paso and its regional and community partners hosted a series of events this week in recognition of National Economic Development Week, which ran from May 7th through the 11th. Economic Development Week is about recognizing efforts to promote growth, job creation, and improvements to El Paso's quality of place. As the sixth largest city in Texas, El Paso is a top 20% U.S. performing economy and continues to experience positive economic growth by attracting new businesses and helping existing companies to grow. Well kids, get ready for summer and hang with us as the El Paso Parks and Recreation Department announces a return of the Club Rec Summer Camp. The Club Rec Camp runs from June 18th to August 10th and offers activities such as arts and crafts, swimming, field trips, and free lunch for children ages 6 to 12. A teen mentoring program is also available for teenagers ages 13 to 16. Registration for the summer program costs $40 per week for children 6 to 12 and $20 per week for the teen mentoring program. Scholarships are available to help pay for the registration fee. For more information on the Club Rec program, including registration locations, visit the Parks and Rec webpage. More city champions in our city saved a life in a near-fatal drowning incident. Parks and Recreation lifeguards and pool attendants were alerted to a drowning response. The crew acted with quickness and professionalism that saved the victim's life. An AED was used to re-establish the victim's heartbeat, saving his life. EMS transported the victim to the hospital where he has made a full recovery. They, they did a great job. I'm, uh, I've, I have family members in the medical profession and my doctors and everything. And they say of all the places I could have had my heart stop, you know, other than being like in an emergency room at the hospital, this was probably the best place in town to be because you, know, you had people that were trained. It was kind of just instinct, you know, all of your training just kicks in like high gear. You're just like, okay, let's go, let's do what we gotta do. We were all talking to each other. We were just trying to just do our part as first responders till EMS got here. And once EMS got here, everything was okay. And the city needs more of these lifesavers. If you want to become a lifeguard, make sure to visit the Human Resources page and click on the Employment tab. From water to land, the City of El Paso continues to add safety initiatives by installing traffic signals to 16 intersections located throughout the community. These traffic signals will help to promote safety and improve mobility by facilitating the orderly movement of traffic. Here's your City in 5's media specialist, Nigel Sherman, to tell you more. Uh, 
when we had our four-way stop, there was a lot of, you know, stop and go, and get a little congested, and now it just kind of flows. Not only that, but we have it safer for our students to actually walk down from Public Hills High School. But now that we have that traffic signal, it allows them to cross the street a little bit safer because then they have that designated crossing. It gets our students here safer after school. Thank you, Nigel, for that story. TechStock continues to improve our I-10 system. Here's Lauren Macias Cervantes to give us an update. Hello, everyone. Lauren Macias Cervantes with TechStock today, coming to you from our Trans Vista Operations Center. I-10 will be closed in both directions at Sunland Park starting Friday at 9 p.m. through Monday at 6 p.m. Also closed, Sunland Park Drive between Mesa Hills and Paisano. All ramps and the wrestler entrance ramp. On the east side, watch for a closure at Saragossa and Montwood, Friday overnight and Saturday overnight. El Paso Electric Crews will be relocating transmission poles. And starting Tuesday morning and for the next three months, the Diana underpass will be closed. In preparation, the eastbound frontage road will be closed Monday overnight. Please take some time to plan ahead and take into account our closures. For more information, you can go to text.gov. Back to you. Thank you, Lauren, for that update and keeping us up to date on construction and traffic on our highways. Well, that does it for us on this edition of Your City in 5. To stay up to date on all city news, follow us on social media and City TV. Until next time, I'm Martin Padilla for Your City in 5.